بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعجل فرجه ولا نعداهم الله سبحانه وتعالى doesn't need us doesn't need to create the universe so why he has created the universe because he wanted to create the universe not because he needed to create the universe Imam Ali alayhi salam states لم يكونها. He did not create the universe. لتشديد السلطان. So he can add up to his army. No. ولا خوف من زوال ولا نقصان. Usually, people when they want to stay alive, they will add more children to themselves. So if they pass away, at least they can have their lineage. Allah subhanahu wa taala is not like that. وَلَسْتَعَانَةٍ عَلَىٰ ضِدٍ مُنَاوٍ وَلَا نِدٍ مُكَاثِرٍ وَلَا شَرِيكٍ مُكَابِرٍ There is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So He did not create the universe, human beings, angels, prophets, His creations, so He can add up to His army against the other God. There is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He doesn't fear of anything. لكن خلائق أو خلائق مربوبون وعباد داخلون. He has created his creations because he wanted to create his creations. What was the reason for that? To gain anything? No. Whether he creates things or he doesn't create things, both of them is is correct for him. Nothing wrong with that. He can go either way. He can create. He can avoid creating. In another narration, Amir al-Mu'min alayhi salam states, or probably the same narration, Alima ma khalaq. He knows what he has created. Wa khalaqa ma alam. Ma alim. And he has created what he knew. لا بالتفكير في علم حادث أصاب ما خلق. He did not think to gain knowledge through actually his creating things. Like you see, when they want to invent vaccines or invent actually airplanes, they try so-called. Uh, trial and error they try their best make more uh, actually uh, tests learn from their failures and then add up to their knowledge Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not like them if he doesn't create anything it doesn't mean that he cannot do it. He doesn't have the knowledge to do it. No. Simply he doesn't want. Why he doesn't want? Because he's a God. He has the call. He can create and he can avoid creating. Why? No one is like that. Yes, correct. No one is like that. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like that because he's the creator. لكن قضاء مبرم وعلم محكم وامر متقن. So why he has created? Because it's his decrees. قضاء مبرم، علم محكم. His strong knowledge. He can create. He can avoid creating. وامر متقن. When Amir Muhammad Ali Salam wants to talk about Almighty God's knowledge and the relation between His knowledge and us. As his creations, he states, "خرق علمه باطن غيب السطرات." Almighty God's knowledge penetrates unseen, as if it is in the within of unseen. وأحاط بغموض عقائد السريرات 
if you actually hide something in your heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that thing. يعلم خائنة الأعين He knows that whether you are actually blinking normally and looking normally or with envy. He knows that. He's the only one who can differentiate between looks, whether this looks is with mercy or with envy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that. يعلم خائنة الأعين وما تخفي الصدور. So خرق علمه باطنا غيب السترات وأحاط بغموض عقائد السريرات. What you believe is in your heart. No one can understand it, but Allah subhanahu wa taala knows it. In another narration, Amir Mu'min states, لم يطلع العقول على تحديد صفته. Allah subhanahu wa taala did not give wisdoms and intellects to actually uh, did not give them the, the power to limit Almighty God's descriptions, to limit His power, to limit His knowledge, to limit His mercy, to limit His generosity. لم يطلع العقول على تعديد صفته ولم يحجبها عن واجب معرفته Of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not ban intellects and wisdom to understand that Almighty God exists. Simply, we can understand that. How? Because we can see the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But can we understand or limit Almighty God's knowledge or power or generosity? Okay, oh Allah, don't give that person that thing. Why? He doesn't deserve it. It's not your job to actually uh, Think in behalf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to decide in behalf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the God. He will do whatever He wants to do. لم يطلع العقول على تحديد صفته ولم يحجبها عن واجب معرفته فهو الذي Therefore, He is the one تشهد له أعلام الوجود على إقرار قلب الجحود. So, signs around the globe around the universe are witnessing that even those who reject everything they are so waswas that they reject everything even if they see you they say no no probably this is hallucinations these signs, millions of signs, trillions of signs actually are witnessing and testifying against those who deny that in their heart, beneath of their hearts, they know that there is God. They know that Allah is existing. They know that they has God. A creator. فهو الذي تشهد له أعلام الوجود على إقرار قلبي ذو الجحود تعالى الله أما يقول المشبهون والجاهلون المشبهون به والجاهلون له علوا كبير الله سبحانه وتعالى is above people's imaginations. بان من الأشياء الله سبحانه وتعالى is not like us. What do you mean by that? He's not like us. He's away from us. بان من الأشياء. Because he has got the power upon us. We are actually surrounded by him. By his power. And that's why he's not like us and we are not like him. And things are away from Allah. They are not like Allah. How? Because they submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can we just avoid uh, death? No. Can we avoid uh, sleeping? No. Can we avoid getting away? No. Can we uh, avoid thinking? No. We submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything submits to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
وبانت الأشياء منه بالخضوع له والرجوع إليه عالم إذ لا معلوم ورب إذ لا مربوط إن شاء الله هو التوكيل